So when it comes to audio, there are so many options you can get for headphones out there. But today I'm talking about a company called Jays and specifically the UJs. Now the first time I ever reviewed anything from Jays was about five years ago. Uh, were a pair of headphones called the VJs. I absolutely love these things and sad to see them go to my cousin, but uh, these were really cool, simplistic headphones. They looked very basic, but they gave you some really good solid hi-fi audio. So today, we're talking about the UJs. Now what makes the UJs unique and different is that they're a pair of $200 headphones, on-ear headphones from Jays that provide the same unique balance of simplicity as well as also clean audio. So here they are right here. These are the Jays. Lovely, little, well-designed headphones that have style and comfort as well as good audio quality. So what we have here are a pair of headphones that first of all, packaging states that this thing has some premium finish to it. Uh, you open it up, you can see all the contents here. You kind of have to self-assemble a little bit, but what you do have here is something that really matches your style. Now with the J's, you can get them either iOS, Android, or even Windows in terms of uh, the remote control functionality. And that allows you to actually control your music as well as your volume levels on any device whatsoever, which is actually great. So for me, I picked, of course, the Android version and I went with the black and gold. Uh, the styling and the finish for these headphones is really nice. You've got some really supple, uh, clean looks to it with the Jay's logo on the ear cup itself. I have the gold around the rim. We've got soft leather padding that we can easily remove and of course place on if we choose to. Now we've got this very silky rubberized headband that makes it very comfortable. It's really light and gives this really plush um, yet simplistic finish to it. As we move over to the controls that we mentioned, again, they are customized for your own use. So whether you're Android, iOS, they will work with uh, whichever device you use or even Windows Phone. It's got an inline mic, which I have to say works very well. I've been using it for about two weeks or so in terms of just talking on the phone and no one has any idea I'm actually using a, a headset with me, which is actually pretty great. So I like that fact there. Now, in terms of comfort, these things are very, very comfortable. So putting them on, you can see um, the headphones themselves rest comfortably on your ear. They give you a really comfort, comfortable fit to it. So even though they're on-ear headphones, I know what people like to say, I don't like on-ear headphones. This are really good. I could wear them for hours continually with no issues. Of course, because they are leather ear cups, and since this is the summer, be prepared to experience some heat and sweating on there. Now, they give you some level of noise isolation, not much, but enough to actually aid in your music listening adventures. Now, how is the audio? These are 40mm drivers built into it, and I have to say though, there's a nice balance in sound here. That's one of the things that Jays actually strives for and I actually see where they're going with them. Uh, you don't have high, you know, you don't have heavy bass in there, which is fine with me personally, but this gives you a balanced tune so that you can actually listen to multiple ranges of music. So different genres, different styles, you can enjoy them more comfortably using the UJs. Overall, I do like the sound of the UJs. Now, somebody will, will ask, okay, so what about like details on the sound? I'll get to that in a second, I know. Um, when you're talking about your highs, your mids and lows, like I said, it's really close to balance. It's almost a balanced neutral uh, level here where um, your highs are good, your lows are good, um, your mids also do a really good job. Now that's where maybe this doesn't hit my own comfort level of the mids where it has a good range but not as expansive as I, as I would like. But still, for what you're paying for $200 and what you're getting with these headphones, you really can't complain there. Audio quality is really pristine and especially listening to different genres on here. We can listen to rock, whether it's you listening to something like, you know, Metallica or ACDC, you still get that range. Yeah, yes, there's not a lot of bass in there, but you can actually feel the rhythm of the bass and not just a blurring of sound. Or if you're going to something like Frank Sinatra, where you can really reach in, reach in and get that soprano vocals really coming out and getting all the tunes, the breaks, the bends, everything that he does while singing in there. Or even to someone like Michael Jackson, of course, who I love, more pop, 
a lot of highs in there. You can hear the notes really elevate with these headphones. So I like the fact that with the UJs, you really get a lot for what you're paying for and also fits very well. Now, I said earlier there were another pair of headphones from Focal, which I said were my best $250 headphones. These come really close at $200. I have to say though, I am, was quite impressed with what um, the Jays has done with the UJs and I definitely recommend it. So if you're looking for a pair of headphones that has some style as well as also just a unique balance of audio with it, definitely check out the UJs. These are a set of quality headphones I absolutely love. And of course they will find a place on the headphone wall. I do have to pick a spot to actually put it in. But if you guys have any questions or any comments about the UJs, let us know. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, do subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank <laughs> you.